Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at health and disease. We're going to define health and disease and then look at some of the problems associated with those definitions. So firstly to define health, it's a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. And that definition comes from the World Health Organization in 1946 and you can see that there's basically two concepts in there. Firstly, that it's not just the absence of disease that causes bad health, but there's these three aspects that cause good health being physical, mental and social well-being. And we'll look at those in a little bit more detail. So firstly, physical health. This relates to the physical state of the body, uh, how you're feeling, your level of fitness, uh, your body weight, uh, making sure that all the things are functioning in your body. So this is all physical health. And these are generally things that are fairly uh, easy to put your finger on. So for example, you could run a beep test to find out your cardio. You could do a VO2 max to find out the lung capacity. Uh, you could lift a particular weight to find out strength. Uh, so there's all these tests that we have for physical health. Mental health isn't as clear cut. Uh, it's the ability to function effectively in society and cope with changing situations. It's definitely part of health, uh, but it's a little bit harder to really pin down how to test that and give a number to it. Then we get into social health, the ability to interact and communicate effectively. Uh, this is even less uh, specific than mental health. However, this is important as, as humans, we're social creatures, and it's important that we have good social ties uh, with our community around us. Now, looking at disease, and we know that health isn't just the absence of disease, but disease does cause bad health, so let's have a look at this one. So it's a disorder of structural function uh, that has specific symptoms, usually in a specific place, and not d the a direct result of physical injury. So here, breaking your arm, not considered a disease. Uh, however, a lot of other things are considered a disease. So some of the problems with these de definitions. Firstly, uh, for the definition of health, we've got our three different realms. Uh, however, different people have different opinions on how, what or what is considered appropriate level of health in those realms. Uh, and for an individual person, that uh, what's considered appropriate and how they feel can change from day to day. For example, my expectation for my level of fitness to be considered healthy would be different to my grandfather's expectation for his level of fitness to be deemed healthy. Also, the definition has a lot of components. As I said, it's got those three major ones, physical, mental, and social health. Uh, some people put other components into health there, uh, but some of these, like especially social health, can be very subjective. Uh, when you get up in the morning and go, how socially healthy am I feeling today? Uh, four and a half, six, what do these even mean? Uh, so these things are very subjective and hard to pin down. So we have this problem with uh, defining health and then trying to apply that definition across whole populations. Uh, because as I said before, health and what's considered healthy is very specific to an individual. One of the problems with disease is if you think about pregnancy. Uh, the definition of disease says that it's the uh, abnormal functioning of the body, in particular in a particular area. Uh, so pregnancy uh, causes the abnormal functioning of a body, and there's a fairly particular area in, this, in which this occurs. But most people wouldn't class pregnancy as a disease. Uh, so once again, these definitions, uh, once you write them down, uh, they can have grey areas in them. In this video, we've looked at the definition of health being a complete state of well-being, including physical, mental and social health, and not merely the absence of disease. We've looked at disease being a specific set of symptoms, usually at a specific place, that is not
caused by an injury. And we've looked at some of the problems with these definitions and the problems with defining health and disease uh, in the first place, including uh, the changing expectations from health from person to person, uh, as well as the subjectivity of health and things like pregnancy that fit into the category of disease, although quite obviously it's not a disease. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.